I know chicken tinga is typically made with shredded chicken, but we love ground chicken in our kitchen. So what we've done, we've made the classic tomato, onion, chipotle and adobo sauce. We cooked ground chicken with a little bit of onion, simmered in the sauce for about 10 minutes, nice and thick, rich and flavorful, spicy, it's perfect. We threw it on some baked tostadas, low fat refried black beans, you can top it with whatever you want, but this is a great, easy one pan spin on the classic Mexican dish. Would be great for meal prep because we all know ground chicken works way better in terms of reheatability over pulled chicken. So I'll show you how to make it. Let's dive right in. Start out with a 15 ounce can of fire roasted tomatoes, three cloves of garlic, and half of a four ounce can of chipotle peppers and adobo. You can use a full can if you want extra spicy. We'll add a tablespoon of chili powder and a little bit of chicken broth, maybe like four ounces, just to bring all this together. I'm using an immersion blender here, but a food processor, Nutribullet blender, whatever you have will work just fine. To cook the chicken, we'll start out with a tablespoon of olive oil in a large skillet over medium high heat. Add the chicken. I like to press it flat just to create as much surface area as possible. It really helps with browning and that browning creates a ton of flavor. So be sure you leave this alone. Don't touch it for maybe four or five minutes until it's golden brown like that. Then we'll break it apart, push it to one side of the pan and add another half tablespoon of oil and then half or about 100 grams of finely diced white onion. We'll just let this pick up a little bit of color and begin to soften before we start mincing and breaking apart and fully cooking the chicken. I want to make sure the chicken is fully cooked before you add the sauce back in. And then I'll use the rest or another four ounces of the chicken broth. You can also use water here to make sure I get every last drop of that tomato sauce out of the blender. And we'll add that in and cook, stirring occasionally for five, six minutes until this thickens. Once you can see a trail behind your spatula, you know it's good to go. You can turn off your heat. And while that's cooking is a great time to prep the rest of your ingredients. I like to warm up some baked tostadas and low fat refried black beans. I have a recipe for these black beans. I'll link in the description below. Uh, you can also use refried pinto beans, whatever you want here. And then I'll add that to the tostada. And then some of the chicken, a little bit of queso fresco, pickled onions, cilantro. You can use whatever you want here. I'll add some ideas in the description below, as well as a link to the full recipe.